everybody, it's Mrs. Dawson here again. I hope you guys are having a great Friday so far, and I am very glad that you are back here on our Google Classroom to see our video for today, Friday. So I'm gonna quickly go over our daily schedule again, which looks the same as it did the, the other day. We'll start with the hello or good morning song. We'll explain today's activities. We will have our challenge for today. We will do our read aloud, and then we will send you on your way with a goodbye. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started with our good morning song. Go ahead and join with me and sing this uh, nice and loud together, okay? for joining in with me on that song. You guys did a great job as usual singing that with me. And I also wanted to thank you guys again for joining in and watching this video videos each and every day. It's really important just to maintain that, that structure and that consistency that we do in our classroom and that we keep that going on at home as well. So it's good to see that you're logging on here and watching these videos each day with me. So thank you for that. We're gonna go ahead and go on to our Zoophonics song. I hope you were all able to click on that link um, that was attached to the video yesterday for Thursday. If not, message me and I'll send you an attachment um, so you could access that video too. But we're gonna go ahead and do that one together today again with our uh, letter flashcards. Make the sound with me and also make the say then letter name, okay? Here we go. Here we go. Alley alligator says ah. A. Bear says B. 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 Katina Cat says K. K. C. D. Deer says D. 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 Ellie Elephant says E. 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 Francie Fish says F. Gordo Gorilla says G. 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 Honey Horse says H. Any inchworm says I. 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 Jellyfish says J. 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 Kao Kangaroo says K. 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 Lizzie Lizard says O. O. L. Missy Mouse says M. 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 Nigel Night Owl says M. M. Says, ah, 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 oh. Pee wee penguin says pa, pa, pee. Queenie quail says qua, qua, q. Robbie rabbit says r, 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 r. Sammy snake says s, s. Timothy tiger says t, t, t. 
job again with that and practicing all those letters and the sounds they make and that is so important for us as we become great readers okay so I'm going to quickly go over our activities for today we have now moved on to our next page in our our at-home learning packet so we are now on the day that says Thursday even though today is for fr for Friday um, our theme focus for today is ocean so ocean animals ocean life and things that we might see um, in, within within the ocean so here are our daily choices that we can do. Remember, these are all optional activities. It's just to kind of encourage you at home and give you ideas as to what you can do together, just to kind of fill those times. And I know we have a lot of um, downtime at home right now with um, staying at home. So it's kind of good just to have a couple of ideas and choices to do together. So one of the first choices is for reading which says to read a book about the ocean and to name um, the characters or the different animals that you see within that book. So before we leave, we'll do that together. You can also find another book on your own on YouTube or if you have one at home. Um, for our math, you are going to use your math mat. And if you don't want to put this off, it's, it's okay. You, there's another way you can modify this. But here's our math mat, and then we have two different sets of tens frames. So we have a total of 20 different places where you can put objects. And it's a fun game that you can do together where you can use the cards that were also at the very end of your packet to choose a number, maybe one at a time. So if I found um, the number, the numeral eight, I would use my tens frame to help me count out eight different objects or items to put on my math mat, okay? So maybe I could use eight Fruit Loops, or I could use eight pom-poms, or I could use eight seashells if you have those for an ocean theme. Okay, it's up to you to use different materials at home to count out one by one, and that's a skill that we always practice in TK, is that one-on-one one, one -on -one counting to count out those eight objects. Then you can choose another card, and make it a, a fun game together, and go to the next number. Oh, now we're gonna do two. So we're gonna count out two different objects, and we're gonna put it on our math mat to make it match, okay? So there's a fun activity you can do for math today at home together. Another one is for your fine motor skills. When you're taking a bath today, if you want, a fun thing to do is to use some of your cooking materials that you have at home to play in your bathtub. So you might be able to use some of your measuring cups or your droppers if you have those, just to kind of have a fun experience um, in there too. For your art or sensory, a fun activity to do would be to make an underwater scene. So think about what that would look like. And uh, I'm gonna show you a really cool thing here in just a minute that'll kind of give you some ideas of what you can create. But maybe you could use a paper plate or just a piece of paper to create an ocean um, scene and what that would look like. <clears throat> For your gross motor, that means your movement activities, you can figure out ways to move like a fish or an octopus or a mermaid or think about how those different creatures would move or go about, okay? Um, for your letters and sounds, you are going to make a water sensory bag. So this is actually gonna be moving on to our challenge of the day too. It's gonna to be this activity right here that we're gonna go over together. So the challenge is to create a sensory bag to be able to practice tracing your letters with your finger or creating your sight words. So this is a one way to create this activity together. Using um, a Ziploc baggie, not, not too much bigger than this if you have it at home. And please, if you do not have these materials at home, do not make a separate trip to go out and get them. It is okay. Whenever you happen to hop up, happen upon these materials, you can use them. Please do not make an extra trip to get these, okay? So using my bag, I have this right here. I'm going to use some hair gel if you have some at home, or lotion might work too if you don't have hair gel, or something that has that type of consistency to it. And you are gonna use some 
blue food coloring. I'm gonna get that one out right here. So I have my blue. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna kind of put a little bit of your, your hair gel into the bag. So I'm gonna open mine up like this. And I'm gonna put a little bit in there. Okay, not too much. And so about that much is all I did. And I'm gonna put a couple of blue food drops in there. And it's up to you how many drops you wanna do. I'm gonna probably do about two or three. Let's see, one, two, I'll do one more, three. Okay, so then before I start mixing this up, I'm gonna make sure to seal my bag really good because we do not want this food coloring all over your house, okay? So make sure you kind of get that air out before you um, close the top. And kind of pat that air out. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do this really fun part where I squish the gel together and the coloring together. And it's gonna kind of create this really cool color that might look like that ocean, okay? So if I keep squishing it all together, mix it up, I get this kind of blue background in my baggie. Let me kind of fix it here. <clears throat> and using this, Using my finger, I can create different letters. Let me show you what I just did and see if you can figure out what letter I made. Can you see? What letter did I make? Let's try another one. So to clear it, you just kind of smush it back down. Ooh, what letter is this? Can you see? Good, so here's a fun challenge for you guys to try today at home. Something simple and easy for you to do to you to make that sensory bag, to practice tracing those letters, and to practice making some of those sight words too to see if you can fit them within um, that bag. So that's my challenge for today. Uh, I hope you guys have fun with that challenge. I can't wait to see. If you do try this challenge, take some pictures for me and send them to me on the Remind app. I love to see um, pictures. I know a lot of you guys are sending me pictures already and I love seeing that. So if you're doing this activity, send me some pictures. I would love to see that, okay? Um, for your journal today, I'm gonna show you a quick example of what I did. There we go. So here's my journal. And I'm gonna go to my third page. Remember this picture, our second page. And here we go. Since my theme today was ocean, I decided I was going to do a picture. Can you see? Very good. Yeah, so I decided that I was gonna write the date like I always do. I write my name and then I decided to draw a picture of a fish because I knew that was one of those ocean animals that we were gonna be talking about today. So I decided to write the words, I can see a fish. You're right, a fish. I can see a fish. And again, I put that exclamation mark because I was excited to tell you about my story. What did I draw a picture of to match my words? Yeah, so I used um, some of my markers at home and my crayons at home to draw a picture of a fish because I was able to see um, a fish in one of the videos Mrs. Dawson watched, and you guys are gonna be able to watch it too in just a moment, okay? So it's up to you, again, to decide what you wanna write about using your your um, your writing choice, choice board to, to get some ideas of what you would like to write, or you can decide to write about an ocean animal like I did here, okay? Good job. <clears throat> so, um, moving on, we did our hello, we sang our good morning song together, we explained our activities and our challenge for today. Before we go on to our book, I wanted to um, make sure I directed you back to that link on our video where you are going to have a virtual field trip. Woo! A virtual field trip today. So that means you're going to be able to see a video of an aquarium, and this aquarium is in New York, so it's all the way on the other side of the country. Um, and you're gonna be able to see what their day looks like at this aquarium. You're gonna get to see all kinds of different animals and um, how this aquarium is set up. So go ahead at the end of this video and you can click on that link that I um, posted and you'll be directed to YouTube where this, um, where this virtual field trip um, is. And it's a really great one. It's, I, I love it because it's silent throughout the video. So you just have 
fish swimming in the background and you get to see some sharks too and you get to see all kinds of different animals without all that noise so it's kind of nice and calming and it just really puts you in a good mood too to see it so I can't wait to see how you guys enjoyed that field trip and um, what kind of journal writings you can write based off of that okay so our story for today is maybe you can help me out I don't want to tell you what it is if it's nonfiction or if it's fiction so fiction remember means that it's not real right it's make-believe it's made up with made-up characters nonfiction means that it's real so there's usually photographs pictures of animals that we see in the real world or it can be people that we see so tell me just by looking at the front cover do you think this is going to be nonfiction or fiction very good. So it's going to be non-fiction story because there are photographs. There are photographs of different places and animals in our world. So this is a non-fiction book. Help me out with the parts of the book. What do we call this? Very good. So we're going to go ahead and read it. It's called Swim Fish. Explore the Coral Reef. And it's written by Susan B. Newman. Okay. Let's swim. Follow the fish to a coral reef. And if you can see right here, there's a label for this type of fish. It says it's a clownfish. The water here is warm. Corals grow. They make big reefs. Look at how beautiful that is. Schools of fish rush back and forth. And here's another label telling us about what these fish are. These fish are called sergeant majors, type of fish. Can you see them? Seahorses move up and down and sideways. So they can move up, down, sideways, back and forth. And there's that. What's this called again? A label, very good, and it's labeling the seahorses. It says seahorses. How many are there? Good. <clears throat> Turtles flap their flippers like birds flap their wings. Here we have another label. It says it's a green sea turtle. Can you see him? Beautiful, right? Eels glide from place to place. And there's another label. He is a giant moray, um, sorry, a giant moray eel. Wow. Nearby, whale sharks eat tiny fish. And here we have it again, whale shark. You see how big his mouth is? Some animals here swim very, very slowly. Do you know what these animals are called? Yeah, very good. So they are called cushion sea stars. Some swim very, very fast. Swim, fish. Look, it's hard to even see these fish because there's so, there so many of them. Each one of those is a tiny fish. This is called a, a school of minnows, type of fish. These animals live underwater. The ocean is their home. So quickly, it says your turn. Which animals live in a coral reef? Can you figure out? Do the fish live in the coral reef? Does the clownfish live in the coral reef? Is the green turtle? What about a dog? And a parrot? And an orangutan? Very good. The end. So I hope you guys enjoyed that story with me today. It was so good to see you all here back on our Google Classroom. Don't forget at the end of this video to go ahead and um, look at that virtual field trip for today. It's really fun um, just to kind of get out of the house, pretend to get out of the house. It's kind of fun to see 
an aquarium and the different animals that you might see within that aquarium, okay? And also don't forget to do your, your daily challenge today. Remember, if you do create this and you have fun with it, I would love to see pictures again, so send me a picture um, through my Remind app, okay? It was great seeing you all. I hope you have a great Friday and a great weekend. I will see you back here again on Monday, Monday morning, okay? Bye, have fun and stay safe.